Y'all, I gotta show y'all a snippet from some show. I don't even know what show this is, but just just watch. I hear you, sister. <laughs> sister? Yeah, it's okay. My boyfriend's black. Here he is. See? Hi, Lynn. Hey. He's black? Yeah. I'm black? <laughs> Aren't you? I'll give you a couple minutes to decide. <laughs> what are you talking about? You're black. You said we were an interracial couple. We are, because you're Hispanic. I am? Aren't you? No. Why would you think that? Your name's Benez. Your hair. And you kept taking me to those Spanish restaurants. That's because I thought you were black. Why would you take me to a Spanish restaurant because I'm black? I don't think we should be talking about this. So what are you? I'm white. So we're just a couple of white people? I guess. Oh. Yeah. So do you want to go to the Gap? Sure. Y'all, would y'all believe in the comments? One person commented and said, her actress is Jewish, so technically they are in an interracial relationship. And somebody else said, his features look black. Y'all, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to play the intro. Oh, Lord. Let me tell y'all one thing about white people, okay? They are adamantly against any dismantling of white supremacy. And hey, I mean, who is surprised by that? Of course, white supremacy benefits white people, so they like it, right? But the lengths that they go to to pretend that it is not their responsibility to dismantle white supremacy is insane. They will be as white as fresh fallen snow, right? And they will sit there and tell you, oh, but I'm not white because I'm Jewish. Like, are you serious? They, they literally just said that two white people in a relationship is an interracial relationship because one of the white people is, is Jewish. So if I date a Muslim man, right, a black Muslim man, okay, are we in an interracial relationship because he's Muslim? Or is we two black people of different religious backgrounds? Like, how on earth does a white person being of a different religious background or ethnicity or whatever? Because, okay, to be fair, let me be fair, right? Because white Jewish people, they, you know, they will say I'm ethnically Jewish, even though, you know, like maybe I don't practice whatever, right? And you know what? I will say, because I was born and raised, you know, into Christianity, right? And I am not a Christian anymore, but I will acknowledge that there are a lot of like cultural things that black Americans do that are kind of tied into Christianity. Like I still listen to gospel music to this day, even though I'm not religious, right? So look, white people, I'll let y'all have the ethnically Jewish thing because half the time I'm ethnically Christian, okay? But you sitting here talking about you in an interracial relationship with another white person because you're Jewish, like, huh? But if I still here next to another black person and I say, yeah, we're in an interracial relationship because he's Muslim, y'all be like, that, that doesn't make any sense. Like, what are you talking about, right? But this again goes back to the fact that White people will do anything to pretend that they are not as white as other white people because they want to distance themselves from their role in white supremacy and pretend that it's not their job to dismantle it. Pay attention, pay attention. And you'll notice that white people of all backgrounds, because it's not just Jewish white people, of course, you know, that's the subject that this, this video and this comment brought up, right? But it's all white people, right? Pay attention. You'll notice that they always do this thing where they try to pretend that there are some super whites who are you know oppressing them as well and because of that you know their group of white people is a victim and they're not responsible for dismantling white supremacy right so like with the case of jewish white people of course they're going to point out the non-jewish white people oh look what they did to us with the holocaust and abc and xyz and that's true non-jewish white people do oppress jewish white people well guess what y'all are white and y'all are anti-black okay same way you look at lgbtq white people they'll say oh cisgender heterosexual white people are the issue they're the ones who oppress us look at how they treat us right like like we the victims here too and that's true they do oppress y'all but guess what y'all are white and y'all are anti-black right look at it with white women they'll say oh white men are the issue right they oppress us as well we're victims and all of this too and that is true you are oppressed but baby look y'all all white and y'all all upholding white supremacy right they always try to use their identities as some sort of like you know like as some sort of reason for why they're not also responsible for dismantling white supremacy do not be mistaken baby 
All of that shit is secondary to whiteness, okay? So, yeah, maybe you're Jewish, maybe you're LGBTQ, maybe you're a woman, maybe you're disabled, whatever, right? And, of course, you go through oppression from other white people because of those things. But guess what, baby? White comes before all that shit. It comes before all of it. You white before you all of that, okay? So, so look, we're, we're going to be we're gonna be up front here and say that you are still responsible for dismantling white supremacy. Y'all are out of y'all minds. Out of y'all minds. The fact that somebody commented talking about... Well, yeah, her actress is Jewish, so technically that is an interracial... What, bro? Like, huh? Now, let's get to the comment where somebody said, his features look black to me. This is the thing, y'all. This is the thing, y'all. I will say this. He looks like he could have maybe, like, a black grandparent or something. Like, he doesn't look 100% like, totally dude, you know, like that type of white person, you know, like... He definitely looks a lowercase Caucasian, but not quite uppercase Caucasian, you know? There's something a little bit, just a tad bit, like, that make you look again and be like, hmm, I could see he got a little, you know, again, perhaps like a, a, a black grandparent or something maybe, right? But this is my thing. This is my thing. That's still a white man, okay? Because y'all, y'all, I know a couple people who have a white grandparent, right? And most of them, most of them are similar to this guy, right? Like, they look black, but it's something a little bit like, mm, you know, like, it, it make you take a second look and you can kind of tell, like, mm, there's something a little bit off with that blackness. You know, it's, it's the same exact thing, right? But nobody would ever call those people white. Nobody would ever be like, oh, yeah, they have white features. That's a white person, right? So why are we sitting here pretending that this white man is black? Like, y'all get on my nerves with that. This is a white man. And I guess if it make him feel better, he can be lowercase white as opposed to uppercase white. But he's still white, baby. Look. Go on, eat your string bean casserole and move along, right? And somebody's about to comment and be like, well, if the KKK saw him and those features, they treat him just like any other black person. Okay, um, let's let's get something understood really quickly, okay? Because I get a lot of comments like this. Like, a lot of times people will comment this about biracial people, quadroons, octoroons, whoever, right? They'll say, oh, well, those people were enslaved as well, therefore they are black, that does not mean that you are black. First of all, that's that's very racist of you to say. That's very racist to say, oh yeah, like white people would have enslaved you, therefore you're black. Uh, that's not the measurement of blackness, okay? But then my other thing is this. My other thing is this. That does not make you black. All that does is bring up a very needed conversation about how deeply white people hate black people to the point where they will hate a white person if they have a black great 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 grandparent, right? Y'all, this is my thing. This is my thing. I'm positive. If you go on my family tree, right, and you go back however many generations, there's going to be a white person on my family tree somewhere. I'm African-American, right? That means I am descended from transatlantic slavery in the United States of America. All African-Americans are some small percentage white because of the rape that we endured during that time, right? So if you go on my family tree and you look back however many generations, there's going to be a white person somewhere on that tree, right? Does that mean that I'm white? Clearly not. Clearly not. Right. But y'all to sit here and say that white people treating another white person terribly because they have a black great, 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 grand, whatever in their family tree because they raped us. Right. Means that that person is black. Like, how does that make sense? All that means is that white people have a very serious hatred for black people to the point where even a tiny little, you know, like damn near non-existent drop of blackness sends them into a rage. Y'all to sit here under my YouTube channel and be like, oh, the KKK would lynch him, therefore he is black. The KKK lynched literal white people who were not racist. Like, they would lynch you for being a nigger lover or trying to keep them from lynching a black person. So, does that mean that that literal white person was suddenly black because the KKK lynched them? Or does that mean that a serious conversation needs to be brought up about how deeply the hatred that a lot of white people have for black people goes? Because I feel like we're going about this in the completely wrong way.